It's go time. You look in your freezer, and the homemade pie crust you made is no longer there because you've used it. You don't have time to make a new batch and let it get cold and all that blah 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 with a butter crust. So what do you do? Well, you could cry, but what you really need to do is use the Mozilla Oil 1955 No Roll Pie Crust. Welcome to Help at Home, your resource for great recipes and easy learning. I'm Jim Hightower. Today, we're going to make the new, amazing Mozilla Oil No Roll Pie Crust. It's from a 1955 Life Magazine advertisement. And grab your pen and paper. Here come the ingredients. Or, as always, click the description below the video and print this out. You will need, for a single 8 or 9 inch pie crust, 1 and a half cups sifted flour, 1 and a half teaspoon sugar, 1 teaspoon salt, half a cup Mozilla oil, 2 tablespoons cold milk. And it's that easy. So let's grab it. Here is a 9 inch pie plate. My half a cup of Mozilla oil with two tablespoons of cold milk in it. My bowl with dry ingredients. Flour, sugar, salt, what have you. Dump all those dry ingredients in. Then you can make the ever popular well here in the middle. And start pouring. And then you just work it with your fork, slowly and carefully. Now, my flour is some unsifted spelt flour, so if you're thinking this looks a little dark, it's because it is. I just made wing and because I have a, an impeccably clean work surface, I'll just put it back in and keep going. Now, it may seem like your flower's getting a little dry, but uh, if it does, just bring your mass around here, push it down, and um, you can even let it sit for a second. You can do that, let it sit for two to five minutes. Of course, of course, of course. Get this fork, push this down, get the flour off the top, and it's practically ready. And I want you to know this is a good pie crust. I've made it a few times, and it's really nice. Now the fun part, impeccably clean hands, mash it out, and up the sides and see how easy that is And honestly, you can do this very fast. I mean, you just push it up there.
And sometimes if you've got some over here that you need to push it down and over on your other side, see, it just comes right up. Push and smooth. That's all there is to it. Now with this pie crust, you really don't have to flute it or anything. I think you can just push it up, push it up there, and it'll stay. That's the nice thing. You don't have to worry about like a a butter pie crust, a, a butter crust pie dough. It won't shrink. Now, if the pie that you're making needs to bake, like if you're making some kind of buttermilk pie or something, you can go ahead and poke your holes in here. You need to do this anyway. If you have one of these little pizza dough prickers, it's so nice. If not, then take your fork. Anywho, that's all there is to it. And you bake it like this, raw. Now, if you're making a cold dessert, like a lemonade ice box pie, you would put this in a 450, no, let's say 425 degree oven for 10 to 20 minutes. Just watch your, watch your um, oven. And then it'll be cooked, no soggy bottoms. And um, then put your cold ingredients in after the crust has uh, cooled off to room temperature. And that's it. The no roll pie crust. And if you don't get in a hurry like me, then you don't have any mess. I'm going to go ahead and pre-bake this. Now a pre-bake is like, um, let's say you want to cook a pecan pie in this and you know it's going to cook a good while but it's going to cook at a low temperature so you could pre-bake this about halfway nine minutes ten minutes and then cook at the regular time with your pecan pie in it again if you want a lemonade icebox pie you need to fully bake it that's 10 to 20 minutes and it's completely done i'm going to pre-bake the uh i'm going to bake it and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Here's our pie crust just out of the oven. I ended up doing 14 minutes. I wanted to go ahead and fully bake it. And with that darn AccuBake system that turns the broiler on while you bake, it got done a little quicker. My top is a little more brown than the inside, but I like it. So there you go. And the reason that you poke the holes is so the air can get through and fully cook it and you don't have any little um, raw pockets there that couldn't get baked. So you want to let this cool before you put your cold um, pie filling in. And here's what I've decided to do tonight. I'm going to surprise my family. Sometimes a simple dessert is better than no dessert at all. I wanted to use chocolate pudding, but I only had a large box, which is four cups, and that would overfill this. So it's going to be vanilla pudding and a small box. This is 3.4 ounces. You usually put in two cups of milk. I'm just going to put in one and three-fourths cup milk so it will set up more firmly, and we're just going to have a vanilla pudding pie and think how simple that is I mean you put a little whipped cream if you want to or just eat it as is and you let this cool a good 20 to 30 minutes for sure once it's cool mix up your pudding pour it in there put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours at least and then it'll be ready for dinner so there you go I want to read you this ad because it's just perfect. <laughs> New, amazing, 
Mazzola no roll pie crust. Tenderest crust ever. No rolling pin. No bowls. No floury muss. With Mazzola oil method. <laughs> anyway, I love 1950s ads. They're so positive and informative and very now. <laughs> anyway. If you like this recipe for quick and easy, no roll mozzola pie crust, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends who like to cook or just want to learn how. Drop me a line in the comments below about your experience with this no roll pie crust and what else you'd like to see in the kitchen. Click the bell in the top right hand corner for notifications. Actually, click the bell below the video for all notifications and you'll receive new notifications in the top right hand corner bell. I'm Jim Hightower, and remember, everyone needs help, even me. Enjoy, and be well. We're just going to have a vanilla, vanilla, blooper reel. What did I say? No roll pie crust. Give it a thumbs, a thumbs cup. What's a thumbs cup? Blooper reel. Yeah.